what is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching pay to drive and pay to drive vlogs coming at you once again day number 1491 with a brand new video hope you're all doing fantastic out there ladies and gentlemen uh with that being said uh, if you are a delivery driver for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And uh, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D. And let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style, and away we go. So this uh, right here comes from Ricardo. <clears throat> Literally, the subject is, hello, my name is Ricardo. So this is what he says. Now, this right here, as you guys should know, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's about Grubhub, and it's very... It's very unfortunate, but for you dashers out there, don't click out just yet because you'll see why. So he goes, Pete, I've been watching your videos since 2017. So thank you for watching for so long. I wanted to share with everyone my story about what happened to me with Grubhub. I'm still asking myself to this day how this happened to me. I have done my orders as usual. I picked up orders from Grubhub and other orders from DoorDash. The next day, I got an email from Grubhub saying that I was late for two orders. I thought that was normal. I didn't see anything wrong with that. When I tried to log in, I see the app was not letting me log in. I called driver care and was told that my account had been terminated. Has this happened to anybody, Ricardo? So first and foremost, Ricardo, I'm very sorry this happened to you, man. I really am. Uh, it's an incredibly unfortunate situation. Um, and Grubhub and DoorDash and these and Uber East, these companies, man, they have been cracking down on the lateness. I, I've said this many times. Um, and in my opinion, this is one of their ways to combat uh, the multi-apping, okay? Um, I can just tell you from being a customer, uh, you know, from a customer's perspective, uh, not only a driver, I know when the person who has my order on any of the platforms, whether it's Grubhub, DoorDash, or Uber Eats, you can just tell when they're multi-apping or if they have another order ahead of you because usually most of the apps will tell you, uh, you know, like Uber Eats does for sure, and I know DoorDash does. I don't think Grubhub does it yet as the customer's perspective, um, where they say like, uh, your driver, John, has one more stop before yours, you know what I mean? So it lets you know. But if it doesn't say that and they're still like driving in the wrong direction or whatever, it's a pretty good indication that they probably are multi-apping. Now, let's keep something in mind. You as an independent contractor are 110% allowed to multi-app. However, the problem with that is, is that drivers are taking advantage of it. The multi-apping should not be a situation where you are running both apps at the same time and you have orders queued up at the exact same time. That will 100% eventually get you deactivated slash terminated slash whatever you want to call it, okay? Because they are, are cracking down on the lateness aspect. So if, because, you know, they're, they're trying to play dumb basically is what it is. So they're like, so you have a Grubhub order right now but why aren't you go why aren't you heading to the direction of where it's supposed to be dropped off why do you have it just sitting in your car or why aren't you making your way over to the restaurant yet things like this <clears throat> so with that being said um it's a problem man it's a real problem and uh you know ricardo i would absolutely you know push the issue more in a positive way in a calm way and see if you can get your account reinstated and maybe find a little more information out. Uh, always reach out to Grubhub at ghdelivery at grubhub.com. Uh, that's always the email address I've used. And of course, uh, give driver care a call 
and speak to them and uh, they should be able to try and give you some clarity. Ask to speak to a manager or a higher up or a supervisor or someone like that uh, to try and get to the bottom of this issue. So Ricardo, I hope you get back on the platform because I, I know how frustrating that can be. So if anyone out there ever has anything they wanna share, a comment, a topic, an article, a story, whatever you have, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below, uh, you know, or the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron, as my way of saying thank you, is I give you guys shout outs in every one of my new videos, which I'm about to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got John Birchfield, Angela Counts McCarty, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, uh, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Jenny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. Really, really appreciate that. And uh, with that being said, uh, yeah, if you guys want to sign up, links down below. Who's going to be the next patron? Let's find out. Maybe it'll be you. Let's see. And I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. That link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page to where it says Get the Free Gas app, and then it'll tell you what you got to do from there on how to install it on whatever kind of tab tablet, phone, or device you have. And then from there, you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside, links in the description. Make sure to download it today, everybody. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, make sure to check out, all right, paytodrivestore.com. We have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paytodrivestore.com. So definitely go check that out. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for you all. Leave a comment right now saying END255, END255. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. So you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just uh, lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.